Well, good morning everyone. Another cool, cloudy day here in Minnesota. It's just kind of lovely lately. Wish we would have some sun. It would really brighten everyone's spirits up. However, that's not the case. Today we got a different project going on. We're going to fix a little retaining wall that I made many years ago made it out of a uh, railroad ties however it has since as you can see fallen apart so we're gonna make it out of uh, a lot of field rock that we have around the farm oh there's rock piles all over this place some of them are pretty big so we're gonna do that for the next couple of days hopefully hopefully get it done in a couple of days but what I have to do here is basically you got to dig all this stuff out right here dig the dirt away the rock I'm not quite sure how far down I'm going to go with it but I definitely have to get it away from here definitely and uh, I was going to get the, the kids into a different pen or a different area of the cow yard, but they look pretty content down there. And they're not really going to bother me. Uh, I'll just be more of a, hey, what's going on type thing. Especially with Louie being a brown Swiss, being so inquisitive. He'll want to come up and lick the bobcat or whatever. So anyway, that's what we have going on. Uh, as you can tell I'm gonna have to dig it down it's gonna be about six feet tall right here no one's really gonna look at it well except for the cattle I'm gonna look at it once in a while big deal but uh, there's gonna be gaps in it because I'm just gonna dump the rocks there and just hope for the best like I said no one's gonna see it no one's really gonna care I just want to prevent it from washing down again like it is but we just got to get rid of that railroad railroad ties were good when I put them in there but even over time railroad ties just will rot even your green treated lumber will rot and lumber or any kind of wood it's not gonna stay forever uh, the field rock <laughs> they're always going to be there a lot of uh, farmers old-time farmers called them sex rocks you're probably wondering why because they call and they always multiply no matter how many times you pick them up the rocks will still be there so that's why they're called sex rocks <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool so we're gonna pick up the, the sex rocks that have already been picked up a long time ago and we'll go for it that later so we're gonna get to it rock and roll and uh, see what happens or as uh, one of my favorite uh, cartoon characters would say let's get dangerous
optional. Okay, uh, I think I'm all done digging, digging into the side of the hill here, or the bank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, got a little bit right here that I want to get rid of. I'm just going to get the shovel because I want to put some rocks right here. I want to build the wall at least up to there, which is about six feet to me. Well, I'm six foot. And I think that uh, that's about as far out as I'm going to go. And I did kind of go a little deep right here because some of my rocks are going to be rather large and I want to set them into the ground as much as possible. So I'll do that. And this uh, turned out pretty good compared to what it was. It's, uh, it is not where I want it to be, but it's pretty close. Uh, if I have time, there's some more uh, sandier stuff right there that I will put on top and then I'll pack it down. And then I gotta do some uh, fine uh, basically handwork right here and right there. See over the years all the water would come down off the barn roof which means I gotta put a gutter up there pretty soon and this just all got washed away. So right now it looks pretty good better than what it was a lot better than what it was. I probably raised it in a couple of places a foot or two maybe two right about here the rest was probably a foot so I'm going to do a little hand work here, right there, finish this, and then I'm going to try to lock up the kids somewhere else because I got to put uh, the rocks in here and I'm going to be going in and out and I don't want to have to open the gate all the time, that'd be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to try to get these guys out of here, I got another part of the cow yard I can put them in smooth this off a little bit more like I said it's not exactly where I want it but it's close and uh, we might get done with this today that'd be amazing I did uh, anticipate this being two day project but it turned out pretty good well of course I'm not done with the handwork or the digging but I think it'll work out pretty good so what am I doing next Oh, I'm going to go get the shovel. So I got to go get the shovel, finish the handwork, lock the kids somewhere else, start building a wall.
but we're going to be done for the day. We got that uh, top area smoothed off. We finished uh, doing the rocks. That was good. Uh, you learned about sex rocks. Now you know what they are. Uh, I think some uh, a lot of farmers can help Trump out in build, building a wall. We can send them all the rocks that we want. Free of charge, by the way, Donald. And uh, if you can build your wall. Uh, it might be a little taller than this, but whatever. We won't charge you. You can just take them and then they can be your sex rocks. But uh, we did pretty good. Uh, we, we uh, like I said, I've never seen this filled in before in my entire life. This was, that was good. It worked out very well. We found some sand way out there to fill uh, up on top. That is also good. And clearly with this project, size did matter. Uh, there are certain rocks that didn't quite fit in certain places. That's uh, expected. But uh, there's a couple of places right here that I'm going to have to find the perfect rock, the perfect size to fit in there. Uh, this is a project that I have been trying to do for a long time and just have not had the time to do it. So I'm blessed that I'm able to do it. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this, one of the reasons is because it had to be done. But I just want to I just want to leave it in a better condition for my daughter. Uh, that way she does not have to do all this work. So I'm kind of trying to leave it for the next generations, or generation, singular or plural, whatever it is. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. And the other reason is it just had to be done. Uh, the poor cattle were just climbing up almost two feet trying to get in the barn. I didn't like that. And uh, it just worked out very well. Maybe someday we will concrete this. That all depends on money. It would be nice. That's one of the reasons why these uh, posts or poles are here. Because I do want to come out that far with the concrete. It's about 16 feet. It's one of the reasons why these things are here. It's the way life is. So, on behalf of Louie, Scarlett, little Oscar down there. Oh, here comes Scarlett. Nope, guess not. Oh well. So on behalf of them, I want to say thank you. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter to me. Your comments matter to me more than anything. So, oh, thank you, thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Hope the geese are keeping you entertained in the background. You missed it. About a hundred of them took off earlier. Okay everyone, thank you very much. Have a good night.